Hello Minecrafters, it's Simcraft and today I'm going to show you how to um, install adventure maps either to your um, own single player uh, games or to multiplayer on your server. Um, on the last video you could see me Georgie and playing um, a game called um, Adventure Game, Adventure Map called uh, Wrath of the Fallen by Hyperpixel and uh, we had to um, kill off, uh, kill the sailors and Captain Hook on on the boat. And this is the boat. This is just a cre screenshot of uh, that boat. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to install it on your um, uh, server. You can even put your server on your um, uh, own computer, or if you've got your own uh, server, you can upload it to there. But I'm going to show you how to do that now. Um, you can um, install any uh, uh, match, uh, adventure maps this way. So um, just Google Minecraft adventure maps and down, download whatever you feel is a good adventure. Um, I've downloaded a couple of adventure uh, maps. Uh, Wrath of the Fallen, which was the game we played yesterday, but it was on their own personal um, Hyperpixel uh, servers. And I'm going to download. I'm going to upload that actually to my own server to play that there to see to play it through on um, um, a harder mode. And I've also got uh, the adventure map uh, Rise of the Rebellion, which is like um, a Star Wars uh, a map. And I'm going to I'm going to install that on single player on my own computer. But we'll start with uh, Wrath of the Fallen, which we're going to upload. Um, unzip it, download it, and you get it as a zip. Wrath of the Fall in 1.6, um, and then you'll get um, that folder there, which is the world. Normally, it's called um, the f uh, world, but they've called it Wrath of the Fallen. And you've got your data pay players, region, and your levels and sessions. Uh, the important settings you need to um, to enable these, I'll show you in a minute in your um, server settings. Um, first of all don't use Bucket, just use um, uh, the vanilla uh, Minecraft uh, jar. Uh, but you've got to allow flights true, spawn animals true, enable command blocks true and view distance 15 and spawn NPCs true. Um, the reason I think you can't use Bucket on this is because um, uh, it uh, conflicts with uh, the command blocks or thing I think anyway uh, so uh, if you've got a FTP um, uploader upload um, your well go to minecraft and download your um, minecraft uh, server jar and upload that with um, all these files and op and I'll show you the server properties where we had to change uh, uh, that's where you change uh, the command block to um, true and those other settings and that's in the server properties um, that you can open in uh, notepad um, I was going to also say uh, you've got you can call the folder you could see that folder on the desktop if I get rid of this I've changed it it was called Wrath of the Fallen I've just changed that folder you can just change it and I've changed it to uh, World uh, Wrath uh, folder that's the world so the world oh wait for that noise to finish instead of calling it world I've called it World Wrath Let's get install of uh, Wrath of the Fallen. So that means in your server properties, you have to point it to the world you're going to go to. And as you can see, level name there, one, two, three, four, fifth down, level name equals World Wrath. And that leads you to the level or to the world you start off in. Okay, so you upload all those to, to your server and that will get um, the world, wor uh, the adventure map working on your server. 
I'll show you that now. Uh, let's get rid of this, and then I'll show you how to do it uh, for your own um, single player on your desktop. Okay, this is the new Minecraft launcher. Uh, this is 1.62 version, I think. It is, yeah. Uh, multiplayer. I've got a couple of servers, but it's uh, the second one. There you are. This is the map. There you are. And you can play uh. on easy, which is recommended, normal, or hard. And uh, as you can see, it's using um, the default Minecraft uh, texture. Let's go out of that and show you how to install the textures that they recommend and show you the difference. Just show you, look, there's the textures. There's the default textures. Now, disconnect there. Options. Now they'll ask they'll ask you to download um, a textures uh, called Ath I can't say it Athath is ascended times thirty two one point six two version two as a zip. Now you what you do is copy that when you've downloaded it and I'll show you where you install it. There, can you see resource packs there? Double click that. Open resource pack folder. As you can see, I've installed one, two, three, four, five, six different um, texture packs, and then you just paste it. And as you can see, it's the top one there. Other these ascended uh, texture pack, and then it sh once it's installed, it will s it will light up. At the moment, we've got it on default, and now we're going to change it to uh, change straight away. Other these ascended. Atherthes. Atherthes? I'm not sure. Done. Done. And let's have a look at what that looks like in game. Join server. <coughs> there you are. There's the new uh, texture um, pack that's um, recommended for this server. That's very nice. And let's have a look at the monster. <coughs> there, the monster's changed as well. Okay, and we'll play a little bit of that as well. Um, but you could see um, me and Georgie playing that in the last video if you want to look at that. I'll be playing easy recommended, then I'll move on to normal, then hard. Okay, the next one we're going to show you is, is the next one. We're going to show you this Rise of the Rebellion. I think it's awards, it's uh, won some awards. Um, Let's see what it says in the instructions. Okay. It, you can open the Apple data uh, or you can start run. So you go start, run, and you put that in there and then type uh, percentage app data percentage and then you open the folders roaming Minecraft and then you drag the zip file ROTR texture pack into the texture packs folder. I'll show you that in a minute. And uh, you drag and drop the rise of the rebellion, the actual world. It's normally called in the folder world, but it'll be rise of the rebellion world folder into the saves folder. Run Minecraft and enjoy. Let's see if it's as simple as that then. So, find your Minecraft, first of all. Uh, there you are, like roaming. App data. You can see there, app data roaming. Minecraft, dot Minecraft. Now, there you are. You've got the two folders you've got to f fill up. You've got the saves. We've got two saves at the moment because I'm playing both those adventure maps. So you pop in your Rise of the Rebellion world in your saves folder and your texture pack 
there it is rise r r r o t r texture pack which is rise of I forgot what it's called now rise of uh, rebellion in your texture pack you just leave it as a zip by the way uh, and um, it will show up it said 1.62 but it didn't show up so I took it back to 1.52 and it, it showed up um, I'll show you that now okay um, run see at the moment it's in 1.62 I didn't change I didn't change the texture pack. Hold on. No, no I didn't change it's not the texture pack. I've got to change the texture pack. I've got to change the texture pack and the version is going to be uh 1.52. This is the new Minecraft launcher. So you just edit your profile, change to 1.52 to get the texture pack working. Right, it's 1.52 you'll see the texture pack options texture packs there you are uh, the Star Wars the Star Wars texture pack remix and original work by Yoko Ho Leo or something At the moment it's on default just change it to there you are change straight away to the Star Wars texture pack done uh, then done and then instead of this time playing uh, multiplayer, you play single player and then you select Rise of Rebellion and we'll see the there's the new textures look, all Star Wars textures they're nice um, let's open a oh look, you get a diamond it's called Diamond Swap, but it's actually a, a lightsaber so you can get different types of lightsabers look uh, some uh, golden apples and there you are armor as well okay that's um, that's how to install your adventure maps minecraft adventure maps on multiplayer or onto your desktop and um, uh, playing single player um, I I hope that helps. Um, I'll be playing both these games and doing a, a video of both um, in d uh, uh, a little series of, of uh, both these uh, adventure maps. And that's it. That's goodbye from me, and that's goodbye from RT D two. Have a look around. I haven't seen this map before. Anyway, I'll show you on the next map. Oh, let's have a look down here. Oh, it's one of those um, spacecraft. It's one of the ships. There you are. We have to find um, things on the map. So that looks really good. I'm looking forward to playing in this. And there's your lightsaber. <laughs> Okay, this is Semcraft. Oh, you can, can subscribe, like, comment, and share with your friends. Um, but oh, look, there you are. The action's already started. Let's kill him before we go. Oh, I've been hit by a lightsaber. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, look, it's a little miniature one in there. <laughs> There we are. Oh, and a little uh, little cube, little um, android robot. Oh, there's another one there. Oh, that's a good. Oh, that's, a good oh, that's a there. I oh, won. I'm victorious. Okay, before any more come, I'm going to say goodbye for now. Bye.